The word of the day is metanoia. The journey of changing one's self, heart, mind, or way of life. Medical Club has a meeting October 30th in Dr. Parrott's room, 1303 after school. Seniors, baby picture forms and money are due Friday, October 12th. Forms can be found under the senior page on the Lakeside website. Money can be turned into room 1601. Don't wait till it's too late. Attention students, faculty, and staff. Today is a tea day, so if you're parked in the goal lines, please move because marching band has to practice. Also, Drumline will be selling Chick-fil-A chips and drinks under the breezeway. Go get your chicken sandwich. Hi, my name is Margaret Bohan. I am an English teacher here at Lakeside High School and today is my final day here. I went to Davidson College for undergrad and I graduated with a bachelor's in religion, so I wasn't necessarily planning on going into teaching. But I worked for a little bit and then I lived in Italy and then I got my master's at Agnes Scott and my master's was in teaching. So I have been here ever since. So this is the beginning of my 13th year at Lakeside and this has been my only teaching job. I was really excited to get a job at Lakeside. It was unusual to be hired as a brand new teacher at somewhere like Lakeside. I lucked into it because I was a tennis coach and they were looking for a tennis coach and they were also looking for someone who wanted to teach the ESOL student. My memories from back then are pretty blurry. Your first year of teaching is exciting, it's hard, you don't know what's going on. Uh, but clearly there was something about Lakeside that I loved and it kept me here for a very long time. I don't know that I have one memory in particular, um, but I will talk about the people that I will remember. Number one is my students. That's the hardest thing to leave behind. My students from my first year all the way through now, uh, it's, you know, it's never an easy time to leave teaching and certainly in the middle of a semester. And then also the staff that I work with, the teachers are so good here. And if we didn't support each other, this would really be an impossible job. So it's the students and the teachers that give me and have given me the energy to do this for so long. You know, I hope that my students have learned something in my classes and as they go forward through the rest of their high school career and then beyond, that they remember some of the things that we taught in or that I taught in class, whether it's content or you know how to work with other people. It's really strange. It feels surreal. I know this is my last day in the building, but it doesn't feel that way. <laughs> it feels like that can't possibly be the case. We're doing little celebrations in my classes today just to say goodbye to all the students. And I am gonna visit one more time in October and bring my baby up to school to see the students. So I guess I have one more day that I'll be in the building. I hope people remember me as maybe enthusiastic. <laughs> like I said before, teaching is an exhausting job. And especially now that I have a little baby in class, that was always my mission to really turn it on every day and try and bring all the energy and enthusiasm I could. So I was really glad that I agreed to coach tennis in the beginning. I'd had some coaching experience. My first year in the classroom was hard just because you don't really know what you're doing, even though you've, <laughs> I went to grad school for it. Interacting with students outside of the classroom was a really positive experience. I coached from my first year for 11 years and I was a head coach for most of those. I grew the program from a girls team and a boys team into girls varsity and boys varsity and then both had JV. So I also coached cross country for four years, which I got roped into by Coach Barb and Coach Pastrick because I was training for a half marathon. And those kids were so great too that I ended up coaching for four years with them. 
Yes, I do. Um, and I think that was something actually noticeable after my first years at Lakeside. You know, students get to know you as a teacher, but also as a coach. And then there's kind of this awareness of you as this teacher and coach in the building. And even students that you don't teach and coach know you and you kind of have authority at that point. By Lakeside, 